Hey guys, welcome. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're going to do Divine Astrology, June 2021. Karmic lessons are gifts. So you're like thinking, I don't think they're such great gifts. So let me give you the channeling and hopefully it will um, help you understand what's going on in this month of June. Um, super big astrological year last year too and the thing is that divine astrology is not astrology it's channeled so i channel these forecasts um usually a couple months ahead which is always interesting to me to see you know what's going to come up for the month looking in the future so here we go karmic lessons are gifts what you have been waiting for is here your karmic lessons have arrived and they may be a delightful understanding, or they may be chaotic, awful, and painful, or you may receive some of both. Either way, they are here now, and you are ready to take them. Some of you may have one main lesson, others several. These are the next steps in your awakening consciousness, the next lesson or lessons to be learned. But again, a few of you are experiencing a delightful understanding, and this is wonderful. It may be that you have moved through your pain in this lifetime, and there's no more to be sorted and sifted. Now, uh, just adding, for some of you, this is absolutely the case, so it's a cause for celebration. Enjoy this state of compassion, equanimity, and boundless love. Share your understanding with others as they are able to receive it. As you already know, light cannot be forced. Be generous, be kind, and the light will find its way. Others of you are deep in the muck and mire, things you could not imagine happening even after the pain of the last few years are showing up now in your life. You are experiencing death, illness, betrayal, loss. Do not be afraid. These karmic lessons are the lessons you've been waiting for this whole lifetime. These are karmic traces coming forward now, lifetime after lifetime of waiting. Here we are at the Aquarian age and you are ready to receive them. It is your choice as to how you deal with them, what you learn from them, and how you grow in your understanding. The pressure valve is released. You experience now the pressure valve as it is releasing. These past years, uh, even these past decades, you have seen the drama, the dysfunction, the denial, the addiction, the violence, the isolation. We say you are all seeing the beginnings of relief now, and this is good. Yet there still remains the hot steam of emotions, grief, rage, fear, to be released all at once, all together by many, many souls in the collective. As you experience the pressure that is releasing both personally and in the collective, it is good to understand that the pressure is from the past. As it releases, it is still hot and can burn you, but the pressure itself is no longer as high or as hot as it was. It is no longer building. The pressure valve is released. What you are asked to deal with now is the recognition of what you experienced. So many of you survived a time of chaos, pain, dysfunction, and abuse now in this time where you feel the safe space of relief, all the emotions come tumbling forth. Let them. This is not the time to step up and go back to business as usual, distractions as usual, relationships as usual, work as usual. Now is the time to survey the past with an open mind and open heart and bear witness to what you have survived. For some of you, this will be the last few years, others the last decade, others will look at the last many decades of this lifetime. The veils will drop off and you will see what you were really learning. 
So what is your big karmic lesson? For many of you, it's saying no to injustice and for standing up for others. For many of you, it's standing up for yourself and knowing your power. For others of you, it's looking at all the, the drama and dysfunction and quietly saying no more or loudly saying no more. For others of you, uh, you are shedding finally the deep grief and rage and fear you have accumulated over these years and actually these lightning, these lifetimes. This is heavy karma. It is no light thing. This is all that has been building lifetime after lifetime to bring you to this point in your understanding. The souls who helped you in the past may have appeared to be harmful players, but recall all souls help each other. Each of you has stepped in as part of a soul cluster in agreement to play this role or that role so that all souls can learn. Look with new eyes at those who have caused you the greatest distress and pain and reveal what you have learned from them. In most cases, you have learned to turn from pain into love. What is ahead is breathtaking. If you are able to take what you are feeling and experience it in a higher vibrational state, you will have mastered your lesson or lessons. So you who are experiencing grief, you may choose to feel compassion for all humans experiencing grief and allow this to expand into love. And you who are experiencing rage, you may choose to experience compassion for all humans experiencing rage and allow this to expand into love. And to you who are experiencing fear, the answer again is compassion to connection to love. Remember, we are one soul, one collective soul, and that the understanding of each of us as part of one affects the collective. So that what you manage to understand will be understood by all of us. In time, a tipping point is reached. Those who are awakened will exceed those who are asleep. And this is the point of the Aquarian age. This is where we're trying to go and where we will eventually go. The time frame is up to each of us. We can go slowly, even painstakingly slowly, or we can go quickly, light speed into a new vibrational reality. What ahead is breathtaking and each of us contributes. The more you can do in your own soul work, in your own work of releasing pain, anger, fear, grief, into compassion, connection, and love, the faster we can go. What is ahead is breathtaking. It is worth humbling the ego to make this breakthrough. The karmic lessons you are receiving now offer you this opportunity. Being kindness. All souls who are asleep suffer. Being unawakened, slumbering in the dream of life, lifetime after lifetime, is incredibly painful. Once you were suffering in this way too, be grateful that you have been able to wake up, that you have caught the sliver of light coming in, or that you are able to work with the divine flashlight to shed light in all dark corners, or that you are aware of yourself as a soul in human container. Be grateful. You are leading the charge of collective awakening. Be kind to those who are suffering in the dream of unconsciousness. It is a painful existence. They rarely know joy or love or grace or any of the marvelous experiences that you have every single day. Show them with your heart light that another way is possible. To awaken one other soul in this lifetime, that is a mighty achievement. Trust the process. The universe has not failed you, has it? In all the things you can count on, only your connection to the divine is unchanging. Hold on to this. Let all drama and chaos be noted, but do not attach to it. This is only the dream of unreality, which you can still see. Attach instead to the light in all the ways you know how. 
We say, if you feel stress attached to the light, if you feel anger attached to the light, if you feel fear attached to the light, and so on and so on. This lifetime is a watershed for so many of you. Be brave, know you are on your path, and let the light show you the way. I'm Sarah Wiseman. This is Divine Astrology. I offer it monthly. If you'd like to sign up to become a free member and get Divine Astrology, Intuitology, Divine Inspiration, a free ebook, a whole bunch more stuff, please go to sarahwiseman.com and you'll find out how to subscribe as a free member. Thanks for listening.